here, boys. Let's do this. Hey, Chev. Good morning. So our fence contractor is coming next week, or is it the week after, to do a site visit. And uh, he's got to measure out the yard. Uh, you know, we've got to get the survey, make sure that he builds the fence on our property, not on the neighbor's property. But until we get the fence, everybody gets walked on a leash, which is a little bit of, bit of an extra hassle in the mornings and evenings and afternoons and every other time, but that's okay. We do what we got to do, right? Come on, boys. Do your thing, man. Pancake for a wee show, please. Blueberry pancakes, diesel, but not for a weasel. How about a Shelby? You're allergic. Yeah. He doesn't even take interest because he knows he can't have certain things. Yeah. Diesel, both of you out of the kitchen. Both out. 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 Further out. Further out. You too, little buddy. Don't, don't sneak, try to sneak around me. You, all of you. Come on, go to your bed. Go to your bed. Diesel, there's the line there. You need to be on that side of the line. There you go. You stay here. Good boys. Stay away from my pancakes. Is it done yet? Back in Canadian Tire, looking for mice poison. It's gotta be around here somewhere in seasonal, they said. Hmm. That's where I bought the blade for the lawnmower, like, the other day. They're all gone now. Good thing I got it when I did. Well, this is all Christmas stuff already. Hmm. Huh. Wonder where I would find mice poison. What's this? Big book monitors. That's not what we're looking for. Uh, you guys see it? There we go. I think that's what we're looking for. Rat raid. These aren't just loose pellets, though, right? I want them in like those little baggies. Glue boards. Bait stations. Okay. Here we are. On an adventure. Mm -hmm. We brought everybody along today. Even the littles get to explore a bit. You guys ready to go exploring? Let's do it. Let's do it. Just stay. Stay. Okay. Wait. The little guys down first. Okay. Okay. Uh! <laughs> I'll let them all run around. Is this the little guy's first time here? Yeah. We weren't going to let them out here until we had mowed things down a bit at least. Oh, so that's we can right. See them a little better. Oh, well, I got the driveway mowed down at least a little bit. He's a little bit more work, but it's better what do you think guys pretty nice yard huh makes up for the fact that we don't have much fun at the other place so this is where they had gotten in last time so uh we're putting this trap in here you know Diesel? we're gonna get them mice right i don't know i've been reading all your comments a lot of you're concerned about the mice here and stuff uh Should be all right. I mean, we've left it in a field like this in more than one location before, and as long as you take preventative measures, it all works out. We're doing everything we can to prevent that. And I mean, if they completely destroy the camper, there there is insurance. I don't want to rely on that, but you know, if it comes to that, then um, we'll just go that route. We have nowhere else to leave it. And why pay to put it in storage when we have this nice place for it right here? Right? 
plus it's going to be useful to us here then we don't have to move it all the time so these are the little uh, mouse catcher poison catchers it's got poison in the middle there you see i like it that it's in a little case like this instead of in those like packets that way the dogs can't get in there so the mice will go in there they'll nibble on that and they'll die <laughs> That in there. Clean this out in spring. Let's see, put that right in the back there. There you go. Dinner. Dinner is served. Mickey Mouse. So there is lots of deadfall in here, just like any forest, but much less than the old place. But there's enough of it here that we will have firewood for a while. We'll need to take care of this. Much easier to take care of this than the other stuff too. But uh, the other stuff I'm referring to is that our, our past land, our, our old property. I like this one a lot better. So my comment section says, uh, you guys think these may be silver birch. Uh, we've looked into it and they're very similar, but these are poplar. 99.9% .9 certain on that. Forest of poplars. There's the boys over there. Hey Chevy, Diesel. Diesel realized he went too far. And Chevy, Chevy's coming back. I went too far. Come here guys. Hey Chevy, I'm right here. Come here. Did you wander off too far and get scared? <laughs> Chevy doesn't go very far on his own. This guy, on the other hand, is more of a wanderer. He's the one who led you away, wasn't he? Chevy. Oh, he's rolling in that dead frog again. Yum. Chevy. His legs just kicking up in the air like crazy. Come here, Chev. Good boy. Did you have fun? Y'all poked out now? Where's the rest of them? <laughs> Chevy? Wiener? All the seniors went and sat in the hatch. They refused to come out for another walk. <laughs> well, time to go back now. What do you say? I gotta make dinner. Oh, I like it. Thank Very you so nice. much. I like Thank dinner. Sausage. I'm, a, I'm a fan of dinner, you might say. Chevy. 
back home. You guys all tired now? You all gonna sleep good? Especially you, Mr. Pace All Night. That's what I'm gonna call you now. It's your new name, Pace All Night. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 all night. So, mom and dad came over for a visit. For oh. supper. For supper, yeah. And we got the TV hung up. Always getting stuff done. Especially when dad and mom are around. <laughs> Even without mom and dad. I'm mm -hmm. kind of impressed we did things on our own. Got to learn how to grub. I think it looks pretty good there where it got hung. Opens up the room a lot more. Yeah, yeah, it does. I think it looks a little less cluttered now no, that it's over more. Mm hmm. Yeah. And you have that whole surface below it now without the TV on it. So. But my owl's out, you know how important they are. That's pretty good. Somebody's all tuckered out from the day. Ian Alfonso. No, Ian Alfonso? Ian from on Facebook. I'm sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong. I just read your comment about calling our uh, campsite, pardon me, our, our land, where the camper is, our spot. Uh, I told Britt about it, and she thought that was a great idea. And I think we might go with that. We'll think about it over the night. You know, it's a big decision. We're going to have that land for a long time yet, but instead of calling it the land, we'll call it our spot. So it's just like we can we can just say, yeah, we're going to go to our spot tomorrow. We're going to go to our spot. I like it. He said that his parents used to have some land uh, or a place out in Rochester, New York, right? And they used to call it our spot. Well, we like it. We like the sound of it. So I think we're going to I think we're going to go with it. But uh, we'll let you know in tomorrow's video. Chevy. You licking your paws? It's bath time. He keeps himself very clean. He smells so good. But you gotta be careful with him. He gets stressed out like in the car on rides, like on the way to our, our spot. On the way to our spot. Uh, he got stressed out in the car, and when he gets stressed out, he releases these pheromones or these oils or whatever in, from his skin, and he starts to smell like a dog. So you can always tell when he's kind of like stressed out because he starts to smell a little bit. But when he's feeling good, he smells really good. It's almost like having an air freshener beside you. Last night I was sleeping here, and he came right up beside me, and he was like right in my face. And it was so good. It was like having an air freshener right beside me. It was great. I love you so much, buddy. You're a good boy. So, that's today's video. Uh, I think I have a load scheduled now. Uh, I have a six drop load in British Columbia. But on Monday is our Thanksgiving here in Canada. So nothing's open on Monday. Which means I'll only be able to start delivering in BC on Tuesday. That's about a two day or two and a bit day drive. So if I'm starting on Tuesday, i got to be there Monday night. I really don't have to leave until Saturday night. So uh, what's tomorrow? Friday? We have Friday and Saturday, and then we'll be back on the road. Probably uh, probably that. I don't think I want to push it. I could leave Sunday early morning and just push it really hard and get there. But And if anything goes wrong and you're late, and uh, it's just added stress. So we'll leave Saturday night probably. So my mom and dad came to visit us today and they both helped us get the TV hung on the wall. One more thing crossed off the list. <laughs> it's a long list. But anyways, I'm gonna call it a night here. I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. This guy's already, already there. I'm pretty tired as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.